wearing skirts that reach my knees but has no qualms when his daughter does the same. My sister-in-law is my age and she wears hot pants and bikini swimsuits during family beach holidays and my father-in-law does not even notice that. However, when it comes to me, I just wear skirts to my knees and this becomes an issue with him. He has talked about decorum with me which is pure hypocrisy. My husband too finds this annoying but he has never said a word to him. The same goes for me stepping out of the house in the evenings to meet my girlfriends. The rule here too applies to me and not my sister-in-law. I feel very suffocated and irritated because my husband too does nothing about it. I don't know what to do. I'm not ready to accept these ridiculous one-sided rules. My mother-in-law may have, but I'm not going to make the same mistake. Please help me with a solution. I need my husband's support too. My father is a very strict man and everyone knows that that he cannot take no for an answer. Yes, he's a typical Indian chauvinist for whom the daughter can never be wrong, but a daughter-in-law is put through test. I had given my wife a heads up about him for marriage i told her that we will move to another country in 2 years at max so she has to put up with this only for the given time period i was very clear that we need to save up so we cannot stay on rent until then my wife feels i am spineless when it comes to facing dad but the truth is we need to coexist for a while and this is the only way it's just a matter of 2 years and then we can do what we like but i see my wife cry so many times and run away to her parents every other day because she cannot take it i don't know what to do in this situation please help first of all for her uh, i'm very sorry you have to go through this and this is something that on not just you but a lot of women have to go through where the rules are different for a daughter in law whereas for other uh, female in the house the things are very different especially uh, your uh, uh, the daughters of the house so when uh, a particular tradition has to go through the uh, uh, through a family and it changes as per uh, the gender and it changes as per the relation of a person this becomes very suffocating so you are right in a way that uh, this has to be stopped and you have talked to your uh, uh, husband about it and he knows it so you know that you know you are not asking for something wrong uh, the one thing that you although have to keep in mind that you do not have to uh, uh, uh come in a very defensive situation in against to your father in law so this is something that you have to keep in mind so you have to talk to him in a very direct way and in a very positive way you can even talk to your uh, sister in law about this maybe she is the best person to talk to her father that if the things are uh, right for her why the things are wrong to you so this is something that you can do and but keep your patience because um, it will take just a second to destroy the whole relationship for the whole lifetime now for him you know it is something that is bothering and you know it is not right but you cannot push it for 2 or 2 years this is this is a very long time you cannot simply keep ignoring it and putting it uh, under the rug for uh, the next 2 years you simply has to talk about it and uh, this is the high time that you talk otherwise what will happen is maybe someday uh, the frustration will be growing and your wife will be doing this conversation to uh, your father which could go horribly wrong you do not want that trust me on this and talk to your father about it maybe even your sister talk to her maybe she is the right person she is actually the best person to tell uh, your father that the things must be changed and uh, that you must be changed for your wife uh, i wish both of you a very happy married life sarve bhavantu sukhinam